Hey guys, Mr. Rhymes here, and I've got a video story problem for you that involves the word viscosity. Specifically, do you think you can tell me what it means after I show you what I'm about to show you? Okay, so you could probably tell uh, from the paintbrush, from the cans of paint, and the half-finished wall behind me that I'm working on a home improvement project. I'm actually working on uh, a bathroom that I have here in my basement. It's over there. I'm not going to show it to you. It's an absolute mess right now. You don't want to see it. Okay, I'm getting ready to paint it. And uh, I opened up these two gallons of paint, and that's where the word viscosity kind of popped into my head. Let me show you what I mean. So we got two gallons of paint right here. This paint right here is actually what I'm getting ready to paint the walls with, okay? And when I opened up this gallon, I stirred it up a little bit, and you can tell it looks like paint's supposed to look, okay? See how it's running like that? I would say that this paint has a relatively low viscosity, okay? Low viscosity. Now this paint over here, this is the paint I was going to use for the trim. I've used it for trim in other parts of the house, and it's nice and white and everything. Uh, I haven't used it in a while. It's kind of old. You can see a lot of rust around here. And if I try to stir this, uh, it doesn't really stir too well. And if I lift the paint stir out, watch what happens. Alright, so those of you that may have done any painting at your, your house before, you may realize right away that paint is not supposed to do that. All right, I would describe this paint as having very high viscosity. Okay, so very high viscosity paint. Ooh, look at that, and very low viscosity paint. All right, and that is where the video story problem comes into play. Just based on what I've shown you here, do you think it's possible for you to explain what high viscosity and low viscosity mean? All right, uh, it might be kind of difficult, but just in case you can figure it out, here's an extra challenge. If you can figure out the difference between uh, a, a liquid that has a high viscosity and uh, a low viscosity, can you go ahead and create your own video or produce two examples of your own that represent high viscosity and low, viscos uh, low viscosity, okay? Uh, preferably with a, a liquid or material that isn't paint, maybe something else that's a little uh, safer for you to be uh, playing around with, okay? So there you go, have fun. I need to go buy some new paint because this paint right here, it's, it's no good for me uh, anymore for what I need it for. So that's it. Good luck figuring out what uh, viscosity means. What's going on? What, what's going on? I don't understand what's going on.